tell you this boat really gets on plane fast. There is a little bit of a bow rise, but it gets on plane in about two and a half seconds. Here's what it looks like. That's pretty fast. Hi, I'm Alan Jones, executive editor for Boating World Magazine, and I'm here with Steve Majors, director of engineering for Crestliner. We're aboard the uh, 1850 Raptor. It's a new wallet new walleye boat for these guys and uh, really see some interesting things. Now this is the trolling edition. What's the difference? Well we have the trolling edition and the uh, casting edition. Main difference is on the casting edition these consoles will actually be two feet further back. You have uh, two extra storage compartments and this this particular model has a, a seven foot center rod locker. The uh, casting edition has an eight foot center rod locker but they both have an eight foot side rod locker. What amazes me about this boat is how much room there is in the bow. This is a sub 19 footer and there's two guys up here and we could be fishing side by side. How did you do that? What we kind of do that's pretty unique is we actually flare out the bow of our boats, which gives it a, a drier ride and as you can see, much more room. Incredible. Uh, I like the hatch space. You use every square inch of this boat for storage or for some purpose. What did you do up here? Well, in this compartment, we have a Arity live well. Over here is a storage compartment with, you can buy uh, uh, those oh, generic Plano, uh, Plano tackle trays that'll fit right in there. And underneath this area is actually more storage underneath. Awesome. Now, I, I know that uh, fishermen have occasionally been known to enjoy a carbonated beverage or two, but I never see any place to put it. Uh, I notice you have a little. Uh, Actually, this boat has five uh, cup holders, one, four for uh, the passengers in the back and the fishermen up front. So we have a total of five cup holders in this, this great, particular model. Great solution. I notice you have two uh, uh, depth fi uh, fish finders on this boat as well. Yes, that, that, that is an option for the boat. Another uh, nice feature we have on the boat is this uh, bait well that's above uh, cockpit, I mean the deck level, so you don't have to bend over you know, too far to get your minnows. And also a lot of companies, they put it uh, bait well somewhere out on the, on the deck, which is usually in the way. This is otherwise, you know, space is not used, so that's the best place to put it. Fantastic. For such a small boat, you really have great rod storage here. Why don't you show me this locker? All right. What we have, we have uh, five rod tubes in the up, up side of the box, which uh, gives you protection to your rods. But we left the bottom side open so we could continue to put seven foot rods in that, that area. Because of the shape of the boat, if you put extra tubes, then the rods have to get shorter. This leaves it open for the full box being seven foot, or if you want to put a couple of skis in there, you, know, you got room to do it. Great idea. Another feature that's inside the rod locker is actually your trolling motor battery storage, which is out of the way, but easy access if needed. Also back here, which is in the, actually the same compartment. This, this is where you uh, mount your, uh, your battery charger, which you can see the meter on the charger, and you know how much power is in your batteries. Easy access as well. So you don't have to take all your rods out to be able to charge it up. That's Correct. a great idea. Yeah. Uh, this is the dual console model, but I understand you can also get this uh, in different uh, configurations. Yeah. We also offer it in a single console, dual console with the, the windscreens, which um, you know, it's been a very popular for us. I love the uh, full coverage uh, win, uh, windscreen here. It'll come in handy in about uh, October in yes. uh, Lake Erie, I imagine. For the best protection, this is your best bet. Another nice option we came up with for this year is storage drawers, which are lockable. It's nice for the, your fishermen to uh, you know, take his depth finders off, put them in the drawer, lock them up, safe and secure. Another nice feature is a master power switch. It allows you to just turn off this one switch. It turns off all of your controls other than the engine. It's not tied to the engine controls, but all the other switches are, you know, are cut, cut out at that point. I know we always like to leave one electron, piece of electronics on a week later, yes. your boat's at stone dead. Right. Another feature you see here, this is a wash down system. You wanna, at the end of the day, you wanna wash your boat down Turn this on, you have a hose, you can spray the boat down, very nice feature. That's something you usually only see on saltwater boats, that's great. Well, we're putting it in a lot of models for this year. Great idea.
you're sitting in a pretty nice seat here. Uh, all four match the captain's chairs. What did you guys do different with these? Well, actually, we uh, use multiple density foams in our seats. You know, so a lot of seats, they, they put very thin foam, and you over time, you'll bottom out in the seat, and it gets very uncomfortable. We have multiple density foams in our seats, and uh, you uh, will not bottom out in these seats. Very comfortable, too. Well, I know a lot of people are going to buy this boat uh, for walleye fishing, but uh, those guys who like to catch those uh, hand stretchers like a muskie uh, are going to be happy with this boat. What do you have back here? It's a brand new live well for us this year. It's 46 inches long and it handled most muskies. Wow. I only catch about a 46 incher every never. <laughs> <laughs> I've never caught one either I'm, and I've tried. Well, I tell you what, what makes this boat really special is the 150 Verado back here. It's got that mercury steering system, which you typically don't find on a boat like this, but it handles awesome. It's an awesome system, very easy to turn. It also comes with a, a tilt helm as well, which works very nice. And it's a, it, it is a great system, very smooth. Fast too, you got on playing in less than three seconds. Yes, it's a very nice engine. Just finished the testing the Crestliner 1850 Raptor with a Mercury Verado supercharged 150 on the back. And I have to say, really nice little uh, walleye boat here. What's really impressive about it is out of the hull, it's like a rocket. Two and a half, two and a half seconds to plane, top speed of 46 miles an hour. But what makes this boat really nice is you can stay on plane at a pretty low speed, about 16, 17 miles an hour. But even if you want to go slower than that, it doesn't wallow like a lot of boats will do. That's because it has a, uh, a modified uh, deep V dead rise, flatter in the back, sharper in the front, so it slices. But when you go slower, you can still keep control. So when you're out in Lake Erie in the six footers, you can go at exactly the speed you want to go. Nice little fishing boat.